Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche where today I'm just going to go and see if I can hand in this water tank. I think it was going back to Anton. I made it last night and I didn't have time to turn it in yet so let's see. Yep, looks like it's going there. So we've got Emily's well. We've got the vehicle pit stop stuff. We've got a couple of things going on in South Block as well. We've got uh, Phyllis desires something. Okay, Phyllis. We'll go and see Phyllis later then. We have not seen Phyllis yet. Since we uh, updated the patch. So yeah, we'll go and see what she wants. I imagine that that mail will just be telling us about the um, commission. Not the commission, the... Research, because we handed in research yesterday, and then you normally get a mail in the mail the next day, a letter in the mail the next day, saying um, how long it's going to take to sort that out. So as soon as we picked up uh, this commission and handed the other one in, then I'm going to be I'm going to have a quick look at that. Then we'll go see Phyllis, see what she wants. Thanks, Anton. So that was two thousand gold, which is awesome. Out my way. Wicker baskets, which aren't great. Gunpowder or satchels. I'm going to take gunpowder. Yes, my trees are going to take another day and a little bit to do, but we should be able to make gunpowder very, very soon. It shouldn't be too bad. And we'll get some points with Remington. Yay! Okay, so let's go see what... Uh... Well, we'll go see Phyllis first, I reckon. Love this horse. Love this horse so much. Almost get the whole way there on on one horsey sprint. It's amazing. I can't wait to start um, making my own horse, training up my own horse. It's going to be very good. Oh, wow. Hey, Phyllis. Hi, Builder. I he heard you got off mission from the Civil Corps to go into the Clap's Wasteland. Not an easy feat for a Builder. Did you have a hard time? Um, no, that was ages ago. I've done loads of stuff since then. It was indeed very dangerous, but I did alright. Don't be too careless. The toxic substances in that sewage plant can be especially deadly, but I've got your back, so don't worry too much. And if that's not enough, I can use acupuncture to help you readjust, readjust your condition. She's got your back and she does acupuncture. That's quite funny. Thanks. By the way, since you've been to one of the hazardous ruins, I'm wondering if you could help me out. I'm working on a general antidote. I need some venom samples. Can you find some for me? I'll make it worth your while. You don't even know how much venom I have stored away in chests. Just for this sort of thing. How many did she want? Medical research. Uh, 10 venom. Yeah, I could give you a hundred if you wanted. It wouldn't even, it wouldn't even phase me. It's not even slightly. So we'll, we'll go and give those to Phyllis. We'll see what she's. I love going down, downhill on the horse. It's so much better than going uphill. It's like, wee. Oh. These guys are down here. Yay! Let's buy some planters. Let's see if we can sell them. Hundred and four. So we'd be selling those for about three thousand. That's not too bad, is it? 76,000 now, so we need to make sure we give um, Mayor Gale, Mr. Gale, Mr. Gale, his, uh, his tea tables each day. Because if we can do that, we might not have to spend quite so much. There we go, on the land upgrades. Are these all things he hates or something? Things I can't give him. I 
I suppose there's some things you can't gift to him because um, those things are about love and marriage. That's about breaking up. I don't know about the, the mirror or the cake, though. I hope it's a really nice present. Thank you, he says. Guide. That's good. That was 12 points. So we'll see how we're doing now. I, we're on that fourth point now, I think. Yeah, we are on the fourth point, but it's going up very slowly. We'll have to keep giving him lots and lots of tea tables. I'll have to have a look on the wiki and see if anyone's found anything better that can be given to him, but for now, tea tables will do. We're still saving up the money. It's still a little, quite a way off, so, you know, it'll take a little while. How come I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have a water thing to sell as well because it wasn't the same. It was an irrigation thing. It wasn't the same as a... They are 270 for that. These that I find in the abandoned ruins are worth 130 each, which is amazing. And the hazardous ruins, actually. I do not need every tennis racket I find either. Um, anything else I can sell you? I wanted to put that down in my house because it's pretty. I could put that down like instead of one of my washing machines. I think I might finally be able to get rid of all the washing machines in the house, which is amazing. So let's have a look at this little piece of mail. It'll probably be what I thought it was. Yeah, just one from the research centre. Sometimes you get more than one in a day, so have to have a look. Uh, six days we'll have the results. Oh, that's good. It's only six days, so I will definitely have enough time for like another couple of tries uh, before I get this furnace, so fingers crossed. And people are saying it's like a four by six, um, so I'm probably not going to have room for it right now, but I will make room for it. Even if I literally, even if I literally have to put it here, right in the middle of everything. I don't care. It will be getting made and getting put down, and if everything gets too crowded, that's tough. I need it for my quests and then you know I'll upgrade and then I'll have um, space to put everything so it'll be fine okay so what we're we gonna do next we were gonna get some poison or venom or whatever it is get some venom for Phyllis so I'll probably be in this like farming chest I think that's where I keep it no it's not apparently okay do I keep it in mechanical parts yes Right, we're going for a ride up the hill again. If I can make 2,000 a day just off uh, planter boxes. Well, I don't know if it is 2,000 a day anymore. It's not. I, I think they have slightly, slightly nerfed them, haven't they? I don't mind, though. I can make those dream, la dream lamps if I go through the ruins enough and get enough silicon chips. Where am I going? Ah! Uh... Where is Phyllis? Hello! I have your venom. Nicely done, thank you. Now I can continue my work. Here, take these with you. So we got some antidotes, some ointments, 100 gold, and some, some uh, relationship points with Phyllis, which is very useful. Okay, what are we doing next is the question. Let's have a look through my missions and have a look. Can't do that, can't do that, can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. Gunpowder, can't do that quite yet. All my commerce commissions are, oh yeah, they're in, on their own little thing there. That's good. I'm gonna just see if I can get nitre from these rocks, I think. See if they've respawned yet, because it's been a little while since I've needed nitre for anything. I've been avoiding it, so they may well have respawned. And it's a six gunpowder one, so I'll probably need like 18 nitre or something. Yeah, it looks like they're all back, so that's good. So that'll just keep me going until the 
trees are done, which will be in another day. So that's fine. Hopefully they still have the nitre in them. Apparently if I can't get it here, um, if I go up to the WoW Industries and, and go down the side of the hill, like kind of up there I guess. Like, there's some stones with that with nitre in as well. So have I got any so far? Nope. But yeah, if this area now doesn't have nitre in it since the up update, uh, it's going to be a problem. Uh, no, it's fine. I've got five so far. Which is fantastic. I need about 18. So yeah, definitely having the top up from the trees. Even if I don't fertilise the trees, just having any extra nitre at all is very, very useful. Try the ones through here. They don't tend to have nitre in them. But once my iron is done, uh, I'll be making some iron swords and things like that out of it, as well as extra tea tables for Maya Gale, because as much as making money is important, getting that discount is important because it means I don't need to make as much money, which is always good. Oh. I'm just going to run and let horse follow me. I know, I know. I should be using my horse. Actually, I probably should have for that. That was a long run, actually. So these should have some nitre in them as well. Haven't found quite as much as I was hoping I might find, though. I'm on 10 so far, and I need about 18. Please have some in this one. Okay, cool. That's another four. So we're at 14. We need 18. Horse is in the middle of nowhere. We might be a couple short. In that case, I will just wait for the trees. Well, no, I won't actually. I'll go up to WoW Industries and see if I can find the ones that uh, that person was talking about. Because it's good for you guys that don't have trees yet, that you know where to find it. But I've not had any luck with it in the desert at all. Like, there's so many people saying, oh, it's in the desert, it's the darker stones. Like, I've hit pretty much every stone in the desert now, I'm pretty sure, and I have not found it anywhere. There seems to be very, very specific rocks that, um, that will actually give up their nitre. But that is one of them. So we actually do have enough now. Fantastic. So we have to give that in, in the morning and that will be the last time we have trouble with that because the trees are all nicely grown now. Thank goodness. We can do more important things like going and finding some. Uh, we're going to need to go and find aluminium. Definitely. These rocks are just really good. There's loads of stuff in them, so I'll just get them while I can. I might need to smelt some more glass pretty soon. I've got about 150, I think, around the place, but we're getting loads of sand, so we may as well. Not enough stamina. Fine. I will ride my horse home then, or at least to the DD stop. It's only quarter past seven, it should still be going. I could have sworn I'd already got that chest. Do they keep respawning when like there's a, a patch? Like <laughs> just keep getting them. I I actually remember going up there and getting it. Okay, so yeah, I am really enjoying the trees along the fence line thing here. I, I think it's looking really good. You go back home. I'm going to spend time just around here now, I think. And we'll just make the gunpowder first. 
so I don't have any charcoal on me. That's the only thing I need. So that will be the wood chest. Sometimes it's just easier than looking in my inventory. It's just easier to look at the recipe on the bench. In case you wondered why I do that sometimes. There we are. And Ak is up here, all stuck, so let's uh, go get our stuff off him. Lots and lots of different bars of things that he's taken off the furnaces. Okay, we've got quite a few iron bars now, and all of the bronze is done. Right, okay, so I'm going to get some copper coils going on here. We'll start with six and I'll see if we've got any more copper sitting around anywhere. I usually have quite a lot of copper so I'm surprised that it would only do that much. Yeah. For some reason my copper was all split up. That was probably just the copper I got from Ack, to be honest. So we'll craft the rest of it. We'll craft a full 25. Um, some of it will go towards the copper coils for the new generator. So generator number four which will allow us to have two more machines at a time going oh. at once. I know that was a that was a double positive there, uh, but yeah, we'll be able to get two machines more going at once, and uh, that will be very awesome. That will be very, 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 very awesome. Extremely awesome. Apparently, the electricity will not go diagonally. Someone tried it with irrigation and it didn't work with that, so I'm thinking that I may need to put like a square there, but that's going to make it look like wrong, so I don't know, I think maybe a little square under that planter might have to happen. Which will be fine, I don't, I kind of more intend these to have something like rainbow flowers or something in them, just as a nice thing to make my place look nice, you know. I could take the planter away and put a street lamp there and then have three planters and have the same on the other side. Three planters and a street lamp. That would maybe work quite nicely because there's a street lamp on this side. Don't know really. Don't know. We'll, we'll think about it later. Anyway. We've made the gunpowder. And I've got iron. How many copper cables do I have? Do I have enough yet to be making... Apparently zero. Okay. Mechanical parts. Do I have enough to be making... Yeah, I do, actually, to be making that new generator. So we could do that for the evening's task. I already have the civil furnace for it. It was mostly done, to be honest. It was just the copper coils that I was running out of. So firepower generator. Build. Thank you. And I'm going to take some of this iron. And we're going to make some copper coils. I'm going to make eight of them. So I shall. I used all of my copper wire, but we're making some more. Um, we need five per, so I've got three for the next one as well. Which I might not be making for a, a little while. I might do, actually. If I've got all the stuff for it, I will. Okay, so we need copper coils. We also probably need, like, steel plates, I would imagine. And uh, uh, a civil furnace. I think that's in here. Yep, so we need you. Steel plates, possibly. Maybe an engine or two. Well, okay, I'll go and pop the copper coils and the silver furnace on, and then we'll see what else we need. It's less for me to remember that way, anyway. Okay, so what are we? What are we missing? Steel plates and industrial engines. Oh, that was quite easy. And then the industrial engines are in here. Steel plates might actually already be in my inventory, so let's have a look. I'm not seeing them. So what have I done with them? Did I put them in the metal chest, maybe? Yes, I did. Because that's where they belong. Totally.
Wonderful. That's another generator. And another generator means more machines going at once. Fantastic. Because we were getting to the point where things were on like 73% and stuff. So I don't, I don't want that. I want there just to always be enough power. And there should always be enough power because it's really not too difficult. To keep these guys um, powered up and, and stuff with wood. We're getting enough wood from the tree farm every day that we can easily keep them powered. Like, it takes 50 wood, but then that powers it for like 8 days, and by then I've easily got enough. So, there we are. More fuel. More fuel. And that means that I can make some more carbon steel bar, or some more iron bars or something. Iron bars are the ones we're going to be making most of the money out of, I think. So we're going to put a load more iron on to be cooked there. Smelted, I suppose, is the word. And we've got some more copper wires already done over here. So we might be able to make more copper. If we can make two more copper coils, then I could probably make another one. So we just run out of iron bars. Okay, and it's another morning. You missed a tiny weeny bit of me mucking around in the yard there due to some technical difficulties. Uh, but you saw the most important thing, which is me putting down the generator. That was the important bit. The rest was just me mucking around, um, grabbing some of the stuff off the furnaces and all that sort of thing. So we're going to go and hand in our gunpowder uh, now that we made yesterday. Aha, Remington, you're right there. That is very handy. And Remington is our good friend. Cool. Run you over with a horse. Running you over with a horse. Grrr. Okay. I'm so nice to Higgins, aren't I? I think I put him off a bit. He was two minutes late getting into the Commerce Guild. Okay, so what have we got today? We've got crystal necklaces. Nah. Bronze plates. Nah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, water tower. I can't make that, I don't think. I'm going to have to take wicker baskets, I think. I have a strong suspicion that the water tower, remember that I can't make Emily's quest and Emily's quest has like loads of things that need aluminium. However, once I do have the ability to make aluminium, I shall be taking all of these lovely quests. I mean, I, it's pretty heartbreaking that that has a, a reward of 5,000 and I really need the money, but I don't have the equipment yet. Grr. I'm going to enjoy it once I do though. And it, I really hope that this, this six day one from Petra will be that oh yes that was what I was saying last night I remember in the little bit that had technical difficulties was I was going to see if I could make this compound grinder this new thing that I'd been given because it might actually grind things a bit quicker so I need to steel shell steel plate my existing grinder and an industrial furnace wow so I guess then I'd better, I'll use the grinder that I've already got. Um, I could just hack down one of the industrial furnaces I've already got if I'm being lazy and then replace it in a minute, but no, I'll, I'll make a new one, it's fine. Um, I don't have tons of stuff to do today. I mean, there's all sorts of things I could, there's always things I can be doing in this game, which is, which is the lovely thing. It's kind of like, you've always got stuff you could be doing, but then you don't have to do any of it. So it's, it's nice. So marble plank, I've got steel plates, I've probably got on me. Industrial cores, I'm going to need to make, and I'm going to probably, possibly need to cut down a few trees to get some resin for it, but now that's fine. Well, that'll be our thing to do today then. Do you know what the other thing that I can do? Apparently someone was saying the only place that I hadn't been when I was looking for that balloon park earlier was actually by the balloon park. So let's see if we can find it, shall we? As I say, I'm pretty sure the balloon stuff it also requires aluminium to make, so I'm not, again, I'm not too worried about it. 
But they were saying apparently somewhere around where the bunnies were is where the balloon park is. And it was like, it's apparently the only place I didn't manage to go or something. I don't know. This farmland's gotten a lot bigger lately, hasn't it? Okay, so here's the bunnies. I'm on top of this hill. And I'm not seeing... I know that there's an invisible wall beyond there. I'll check the invisible wall again, but I'm certainly not seeing anything with the balloons on, so it might just be that your particular game is at a, at the right stage for the balloons to be showing up. Um, also, I do know in the previous version there were balloons showing around this area, but they're not there anymore, so uh, I don't know. I'm hitting a lot of invisible barriers here for some bizarre reason. The horse won't do anything. Alright, I'm going to get off the horse. I'll let it follow me around. This is really bad. So I'm hitting, hitting invisible walls everywhere. I imagine that uh, that bit off to the right is probably going to be the peripheries, and I'm quite excited for that. That'll probably be a very hard area. No, Balloon Park is definitely 100% not here. I have looked everywhere. And it's getting a bit weird that my horse just won't go places around here for some reason. I don't like this area at the moment. Someone else was saying as well that there's some special dating clothes. Like a little dating suit. So I might have to go and check that out as well. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with the horse today. The horse is usually so good. There we are. I just... I mean, is it maybe my keyboard? I've had trouble like this before where it just stops every so often. Usually a reload helps, but I won't be reloading till the end of the day. So maybe we should stick around the workshop a bit more just so it's not going to cause so much of an issue. So possibly working on this, uh, this furnace and stuff would be fine. Um, let's see how much resin I've managed to pick up and put together over... Oh, don't, don't do this to me. Don't make me have to reload. We've got five already, so that's not so bad. But yeah, if the controls do continue to be a bit uh, janky, I will just end the day a little early. And we'll start again next time. I've been a bit plagued with uh, technical issues this today. I've had trouble with, uh, not only with my... Let's try and find this tree behind here. Ah, I'm all covered in stuff. Uh, yeah, I've had not only trouble with my recording um, stopping randomly, I also had trouble with seemingly this this whole movement thing as well so it's kind of annoying so that one tree has got me most of what i need i'll just need one more big tree so i will go back on the horse seems to seems to be okay now actually i wonder if it just didn't like me going over to that other area i'm not sure i'll cut down two trees and actually give me enough resin just to make these um I am now getting proper honey, royal honey. Oh, please put in beekeeping, that'd be so amazing. Says the girl that can't even look after her fish tank. But please, this sounds good. I 
Okay, so I'm also gonna need some uh, bloodstones. And there was something else I needed as well. I can't remember what it is. I'll soon find out though. So we're looking for the industrial core. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just stone. Okay, that's cool. I always have loads of that on me anyway. Um, right, let's go and add those to the industrial furnace that we need. I hope the comprehensive grinder isn't too big. Like, I've got this grinder squished into this tiny little space over here and I'm kind of thinking some things might need to move. But we'll see. You know, I've got to make these new things for you guys so you can see what they are. Industrial core. What else do we need? You're going to need some steel plates and some marble planks. Well, I have the steel plates already here. And marble planks. Do I have any of those on me? I usually do. Yes. This is the thing. I, I put things away and then I immediately need them again, so... Okay, so let's get this comprehensive grinder. I hope I'm not going to regret making this, but anyway, uh, so the industrial furnace part of it is already done. I have a grinder that I'm going to be swapping for it. So I'll probably put that on last. So we need to go make the steel shell. There's my industrial furnace bit. And four steel plates and two steel shells. How many steel plates do I have? Well, I only have two. I think I had some more going over there, though. So let's see if I have any are made yet. Ah, nice. And that's completed as well. So the car... Well, we need to make more carbon steel so we can make more steel plates. But we've got the steel plates. Steel shells now. So we need four of them, was it? Two. Two steel shells. Right, okay. Let's have a look what we need for those. I think we make them over here. A steel frame, a welding rod, and a steel plate each. Okay, so I need to make two steel frames. See, so balloon needs aluminium, and the basket doesn't, but the balloon does. Okay, so can't make that anyway. Even if we had been given the quest for it. Copper coil, stone steel. Steel frame, please, anywhere. There we are. Carbon steel bars and welding rods. Okay. So I need 10 carbon steel bars. Yeah, we need loads more carbon steel being made. So can I make more in here? Yeah, I can make another 11. And then I'm out of iron ore. Surely I have more iron ore somewhere. Uh, am I really out of it? Because if I am, I'll need to go and get some more. Yeah, I, I really actually am. <laughs> Gee, going through this iron very quickly. Ah, but I do have enough carbon steel bars. Nice. Let's go and see if I've got any welding rods. I do. Aha. Uh -huh. We might make it. We might be able to make it this episode still. You never know. So. Three steel frames I can make, but I only want to make two. And then I want to make those, if I can, into a steel shell. I am missing one welding rod. Okay, I can make that fairly quickly. Welding rods don't take long to make. So I'll just uh, maybe stop the manganese or something being made for a second and we'll make a, a quick welding rod. Just want one. I'll I need to make a bunch of them though because we need them all the time for stuff now. It'll be made in 36 minutes. So in the meantime, what else do we need for... We've put down... Oh, we need the grinder on here. And then we need those steel shells. Well, I'll go and pick up the grinder, I think. It's still working on stuff, but we'll just get that cancelled. 
And I hope this is worth it and I hope this isn't too annoying. But it's the first upgraded grinder I've seen, so that's pretty cool. Right, grinder will be over here. Get that on there. Oh, this is pretty cool. I right, need the steel shells now. Cool, it's made that, so I'll get that making its manganese bars again. And we'll make the two steel shells. Wonderful. Stick them on there, and we've got ourselves a comprehensive grinder. I think it's going to take a little bit more space than the original grinder did. But I think what we'll do there... Oh, what we could do is we could still probably tuck that in here. Yeah, it tucks in there. Cool. Right, let's see what, let's see what we can do with it. Make copper blades, bronze pipes, all the usual bearings, copper wires. So everything that I could make before. Well, I'm hoping that it makes it a bit quicker. I should have compared. Yeah, it's going to make that in 21 hours. I think that is a bit quicker than it would have been. So that's pretty cool. Um, I hope there might be recipes that can be made in that eventually that can't be made in other things. Uh, but I'm kind of glad it managed to kind of squeeze into the same space that it was in before. Oh, it sticks out forward a little bit more, but I don't mind that. Just means it's in line with the little... Uh, well, not so little relic maker. But I like the way things are, are all squeezed in here now. Look at this. Amazing, isn't it? I should have enough to make my last generator, actually, as well. So, for my generator, I'm going to need another civil furnace. Is there anything else? Oh, I need to do my wicker basket commission as well. Oops. Wicker baskets. Okay, how do we make these? Quality leather. Oh, no. <laughs> Oops. I should have been making those ages ago. Right, oh well. Okay, I've got three skyvers. We, could, we can do this. We can do this, guys. Quality leather requires delicate fur and tree sap. Okay. How much delicate fur do we have? Nineteen. Okay, this is not going to be so bad then. Because I only need three. So if I put one on each of my... Yeah, I've got enough for four. Okay, and I need... But I need two. Two of those baskets. So I'll get these going. With like one or two each quality leather being made but I need two wicker baskets so we'll make make those four we need to get enough delicate fur for another two that shouldn't be too much though so I need four delicate fur per so I need another one and then another four I only need like five more basically and it's only nine o'clock so I should be able to do this but that's a horrible commission I don't like that commission at all. I would only take it if I had nothing else I could take. Hello, Slurpees! Hello, little Slurpees! I'm coming to get you! <laughs> Oh, also, it looks like the drop rate on delicate fur is actually a little bit higher now on the Slurpees. Mmm, good. Because that was a nightmare to get before, but you seem to be getting it off each of them. I might actually take Satchel Quest if I can get delicate fur relatively easily. Also, that means Mr. Anton will be our friend a little bit quicker because he loves his satchels. Oh, we only got... Uh, maybe it was just luck there. Because we only got one 
Normal fur off that one. Oh, okay. But we actually have enough now, so I, I, I'm just going to go back. Because, uh, yet again, my... Uh, I'm in a dangerous area now, so this is this makes it annoying. Like yet let, yet again, my keyboard controls are not quite responsive, and it does seem to be a thing that just occasionally happens with the game because it doesn't seem to be to do with my keyboard. My keyboard seems to be working all right. Come on! Oh no, the DD service has stopped for the day. That's really bad because now I've got to try and manually get home. Okay, it's okay at the moment. Just seems to be when I hit certain areas of the map, but it seems to just be a bit weird. I will check the battery on my keyboard and stuff like that as well, but as I say, it's happened before with different keyboards and all sorts, so I'm thinking it just maybe needs a little reload. But yeah, I'm hoping to get my, my horse trained up before the bad behaviours start to actually get set in. Although it might be quite funny to see them. Uh, probably be quite annoying too. Okay. I can make the rest of the quality fur as long as I can walk over there. Uh, 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 uh. What? Why can I only make one? Are you kidding me? I need two more delicate fur. Urgh. I hate it when I miscount things. It really, really irritates me. Especially when I'm struggling with the keyboard controls like this, it's just, it puts everything off. It really does. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go to bed, guys. I might have to just finish this commission in the morning, even though it's a really bad commission that I don't even like and doesn't even have very good rewards for it, considering the amount of work I've got to put in to do it. Compared to something like desk lamps, that I barely have to put any work in to do. That commission is a horrible one. Okay, so anyway, other than the fact that I had some slight keyboard issues and everything, we had a pretty good uh, couple of days. We, as I say, we've done that quest for feathers. We've got uh, a lot more machines that can go on at once at the moment, although I do definitely think I need that fifth uh, generator in there, and I possibly might need more in the future as well. We'll have to see, but uh, we'll be able to expand a little bit more once we have more space, and that's definitely something that we're getting much closer to. Oh, and I just passed out. I think we're on something like 70. Yeah, we're nearly 80,000 now. So I keep giving Gale those tea tables. I'll hope to bring it down to maybe 100, 120,000, something along those lines, uh, rather than the 160 that I think it originally was. I think we got it down to 140 now. I reckon we can get it down to 120. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more of my time at Porsche, please do subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.